We don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense. Sean Diddy Combs' world is in chaos, jail time, and now his children are finally speaking out. But instead of addressing the accusations against their father, Quincy, Christian, Jesse, and Delilah have broken their silence to slam the conspiracy theories swirling around their late mother, Kim Porter. Diddy's arrest, the beginning of the storm. I mean, we're talking about one of the most iconic figures in hip-hop, a guy who's been in the public eye for decades. Suddenly, he's in handcuffs, charged with some pretty horrific crimes. Homeland Security got involved, which immediately tells you this isn't some minor scandal, this is the real deal. So, what exactly happened? On September 16th, Diddy was arrested at a New York hotel by federal agents. But here's where things get even darker. The charges against him are massive, and we're not just talking about stuff that allegedly happened recently. These accusations stretch back to the height of Diddy's career, all the way to the late 1990s and early 2000s. For those of us who grew up watching Diddy rise to fame with Bad Boy Records, it feels like the rug has been pulled out from under everything we thought we knew about him. It's said that these parties were attended by celebrities and high-profile individuals, and that some pretty disturbing stuff went down at them. It's hard to wrap your head around, right? And, as if that wasn't enough, the name Cassie Ventura has come up again. Cassie, for those who might not remember, was in a long-term relationship with Diddy. But things turned ugly. And to make matters even worse, a video surfaced. I don't know about you, but seeing that footage made my stomach turn. The video brought back all the ugly truths about their relationship and made people question just how far Diddy's behavior really went. People's reactions to that video have been strong, to say the least. It's one thing to hear rumors or read allegations, but to actually see footage of a man attacking his partner. That hit differently. It was almost like it solidified everything that had been whispered about Diddy behind the scenes for years. Cassie had been quiet for so long, but this video and her involvement in these accusations really brought her into the spotlight in a way that no one could ignore. Diddy has always been seen as this larger-than-life figure. Whether you know him as Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, or just Diddy, the man built an empire. From Bad Boy Records to Ciroc, he's been a household name for as long as we can remember. He was always that untouchable figure in hip-hop, the guy who seemed to have it all, money, power, fame. But this arrest? It shattered all of that. Fans were shocked, to say the least. There's this feeling that the person we all grew up admiring has turned out to be someone completely different. It's like discovering that your hero has been wearing a mask this whole time. For years, Diddy's name was synonymous with success, and that's not something you can come back from easily. What's even more interesting is how divided public opinion has become. Some people are still trying to hold on to that image of Diddy as a successful, powerful man who could do no wrong. Others, especially after seeing that video of him attacking Cassie, have completely turned against him. It's like his career, his legacy, everything he built is crumbling right in front of us. And honestly, it's hard to see how he could ever rebuild after something this huge but we're not done yet. Diddy isn't just dealing with the public backlash. His legal troubles are stacking up. After his arrest, Diddy was denied bail, which is a pretty big deal. Usually, someone with his level of fame and money would have no problem getting out on bail. But the court ruled against it. And now he's sitting behind bars, awaiting trial. And get this, he's on suicide watch. The situation has gotten so serious that the authorities are worried about Diddy taking his own life while he's in custody. That tells you just how bad things are right now. And if that wasn't enough, federal agents raided his homes in Los Angeles and Miami back in March. The fact that they're looking into his properties and keeping him behind bars suggests that there's a lot more going on here than we even know yet. So what's next for Diddy? It's hard to say. His lawyers are working overtime to try to get him out on bail, but so far, no luck. And the trial hasn't even started yet. 
As the legal process drags on, more and more information could come to light, more women could come forward, more evidence could surface, and Diddy's carefully constructed public image could continue to unravel. The conspiracy theories around Kim Porter's death. So, to recap, Kim Porter, a former model and actress, passed away suddenly in November 2018 at the age of 47. Her death shocked a lot of people, especially given how vibrant and healthy she appeared to be. The official cause of death was lobar pneumonia, which is a serious lung infection. But there was no mention of any foul play at the time. It seemed like a tragic and unexpected event, but nothing more sinister than that. When Kim passed, the media, along with her friends and family, were understandably devastated. She was known as a loving mother and had a long and complicated history with Diddy, having dated him on and off from the 1990s until 2007. Together, they had three children, Christian and the twin girls, Jesse and Delilah. But here's the thing. While people mourned Kim's death and expressed their condolences, no one was seriously questioning what had happened to her. The official narrative was that she died from pneumonia, and that was that. Sure, it was tragic and surprising, but no one was screaming attack or anything like that back then. Fast forward a few years, though, and everything changes. Diddy's arrest in 2023 threw a massive spotlight on his personal life, and suddenly, people started to dig up old rumors and questions about Kim's death. It's kind of crazy how quickly the internet moves from one scandal to the next, right? One minute, Diddy's facing charges, and the next, social media is exploding with theories that he had something to do with Kim Porter's death. So why is this happening now? Well, it all comes down to timing and Diddy's tarnished public image. When someone with as much power and influence as Diddy falls from grace, people start to connect dots that maybe don't even exist. His arrest made people suspicious, like if he's capable of the things he's being accused of, could he have been involved in something darker when it comes to Kim's death? The internet loves a good conspiracy, and Diddy's downfall provided the perfect fuel for it. One of the most bizarre things to come out of this is the so-called memoir that supposedly contains Kim's last words from beyond the grave. Yeah, you heard that right. There's a 59-page typo-ridden book that popped up on Amazon in September 2023, claiming to be written by Kim before she died. The book, titled Kim's Lost Words, A Journey for Justice from the Other Side, was self-published under a pseudonym, and if that doesn't already scream red flag, I don't know what does. The whole thing is just ridiculous. First off, the book is filled with typos and errors, which is always a bad sign when it comes to something that's supposed to be as serious as a woman's final words. Then there's the fact that no one in Kim's family, least of all her children, had ever mentioned anything about her writing a memoir. In fact, Diddy's kids have come out and flat out called the book fake, saying that anyone who claims their mom wrote it is lying. And honestly, they're right. The whole thing feels like someone trying to cash in on a tragedy. And yet, despite how absurd it sounds, the book shot to the top of Amazon's bestsellers list. People ate it up, even though there's no proof that it was written by Kim at all. It's just another example of how easy it is for conspiracy theories to take off especially when someone famous is involved. The author of the book, by the way, is listed as Jamal T. Millwood, a name that conspiracy theorists claim was once used as an alias by Tupac. Yeah, that Tupac, who some people still believe is alive. So you can see the kind of crowd we're dealing with here. Conspiracy theorists have been all over this. And it's no surprise that social media has been the main breeding ground for these wild ideas. Platforms like Instagram and Twitter, or X, whatever we're calling it these days, are full of users connecting Diddy's arrest to Kim's death. They're saying that Diddy's involvement raises questions about what really happened to Kim, even though there's been no new evidence to suggest foul play in her death. And let's not forget, Conspiracy theorists are experts at making something out of nothing. They've latched onto this fake memoir, even though Diddy's kids and close friends have repeatedly said that Kim's death was from natural causes. 
But that doesn't stop the rumors. The fact that Diddy's facing these serious criminal charges only adds fuel to the fire. People start to wonder, if he was capable of doing those terrible things, could he have done something to Kim? The Tupac connection is another layer to all of this madness. Some conspiracy theorists have tied Diddy to the old rumors about Tupac's death, claiming that Diddy was somehow involved in the East Coast-West Coast rap feud that led to Tupac's murder. Now, with this memoir popping up under a pseudonym supposedly connected to Tupac, the theorists are having a field day. It's like all their favorite scandals are coming together in one big conspiracy soup. But what does all of this say about Diddy's public image? Honestly, it's a mess. For years, he was seen as a successful entrepreneur and mogul, someone who built an empire and maintained his status in the industry. Now he's being portrayed as this dark, manipulative figure with a hand in everything. Whether any of this is true or not, it's clear that Diddy's legacy is taking a serious hit. His arrest has dragged up not only new accusations, but also old rumors that people were willing to overlook before. Now, everything's on the table, and it's not looking good. The kids break their silence, a family in crisis. All right, here's where things get even more personal. We've all seen families torn apart by scandal, but in this case, Diddy's kids, Quincy, Christian, Jesse, and Delilah, have been thrown into the spotlight in a way that no one should ever have to experience. Imagine losing your mom, and then years later, not only do you have to live with that grief, but you also have to deal with conspiracy theories swirling around her death. It's like a nightmare that just won't end for them. So, what did Diddy's kids have to say? Well, they finally broke their silence on Instagram and they didn't hold back. In a joint statement, they expressed their frustration and anger over the conspiracy theories that have been popping up about their mom, Kim Porter. And honestly, you can't blame them for being upset. The internet is full of people who love to create drama and stir up stories, and the theories about Kim's death were starting to take over. In their statement, they said, We have seen so many hurtful and false rumors circulating about our parents, Kim Porter and Sean Combs' relationship, as well as about our mom's tragic passing, that we feel the need to speak out. You can really feel their frustration here. They're not just defending their dad, they're stepping up to protect their mom's memory, which is what this is really about for them. It's got to be incredibly hard to see your mom's name being dragged through the mud when all you want is for her to be remembered for the loving, kind woman she was. There's a 59-page book out there that claims to have been written by Kim before she passed, but Diddy's kids were quick to shut that down. In their statement, they made it crystal clear. Claims that our mom wrote a book are simply untrue. She did not, and anyone claiming to have a manuscript is misrepresenting themselves. Boom, there you have it. They didn't mince words, and you can tell that this was really important for them to address. Why is this such a big deal for them? Well, think about it. Their mom is gone, and now there's this fake book out there supposedly containing her final thoughts? That's not just disrespectful, it's an insult to their entire family. It's like someone is trying to profit off their mother's death by spinning lies, and they're having none of it. Their denial of the memoir shows just how protective they are of Kim's legacy. And honestly, who wouldn't be? If someone did that to my mom, I'd be just as furious. But that's not all they had to say. The kids also addressed the conspiracy theories head on, especially the ones that claim there was foul play involved in Kim's death. This part is heartbreaking because you can tell how tired they are of hearing these baseless rumors. They wrote, the cause of her death has long been established. There was no foul play. They've probably had to deal with these whispers and rumors for years now, and with Diddy's recent arrest, it's all being dredged up again. This moment was crucial for them to speak up because they're clearly trying to put a stop to these stories once and for all. For them, this isn't just about setting the record straight. It's about protecting their mother's memory. Losing a parent is devastating enough, but when you're in the public eye, everything is magnified. Every detail of Kim's death has been scrutinized by people who don't even know her. And for Diddy's kids, that's a burden they've had to carry. 
Imagine trying to grieve your mom privately, only to have strangers on the internet spinning wild stories about her death. The emotional toll of all of this must be enormous. Grief is already a lifelong process, and it never really goes away. But now, Diddy's kids are being forced to confront their grief publicly, in front of the entire world. They're not just dealing with their own pain, they're also having to defend their mom from people who are trying to twist her story into something it's not. And that's got to be exhausting. You can feel the weight of all this in their statement. They said, our lives were shattered when we lost our mother. She was our world, and nothing has been the same since she passed. That line right there sums up everything. Their mom was their anchor, and now that she's gone, they're left trying to hold on to her memory while dealing with all this chaos surrounding their dad's arrest. It's like they're stuck in the middle of a storm, trying to keep everything from falling apart. And let's not forget, they're still young. Quincy is in his early 30s, but Jesse and Delilah are just 17. Can you imagine being a teenager and having to navigate this kind of situation? It's hard enough growing up in the spotlight, but now they've got this massive scandal hanging over their heads. It's a lot for anyone to handle, and it's clear they're doing their best to stay strong for their mom's sake. Diddy's relationship with Kim Porter, a complicated history. Which brings us to Diddy and Kim Porter's relationship because it was anything but simple. These two had one of those on-and-off dynamics that stretched over more than a decade. They met in the early 1990s, and from the very beginning, it was clear there was something strong between them. Diddy was still climbing the ranks in the music industry back then, and Kim was already making her mark as a model. Their relationship wasn't your typical Hollywood romance, though. It was full of ups and downs, breakups, reconciliations, and everything in between. They started dating in 1994, and for the next 13 years, they were in and out of each other's lives. Throughout that time, they had three children together, Christian and the twin girls, Jesse and Delilah. But Kim was more than just a mother. She was a steady presence in Diddy's life, even when they weren't together. She helped him navigate the insane world of fame and fortune, and it was obvious to anyone who paid attention that they shared a deep bond, even when they weren't officially a couple. By 2007, their romantic relationship had ended for good, but that didn't mean they were completely out of each other's lives. They co-parented their children and stayed close in a way that's rare for people who go through such a public and tumultuous breakup. Diddy once said in an interview that Kim was his soulmate, even though they couldn't make it work romantically in the long run. That says a lot about the kind of relationship they had. It was complicated, sure, but there was real love and respect there. Publicly, their relationship always seemed glamorous. They were a power couple, after all. Kim was stunning, Diddy was a music mogul, and together they looked like they had it all. The media often painted their relationship as this epic, larger-than-life romance, full of glitz and glam. But, like with most celebrity relationships, what we saw on the outside wasn't the full picture. Behind closed doors, there were struggles and plenty of tension that might have gone unnoticed by fans at the time. One of the reasons their relationship gets so much attention now, especially from conspiracy theorists, is because of how public their lives were, yet how little we really knew about what was going on behind the scenes. They had a pattern of breaking up and getting back together, which some people took as a sign that their relationship was unstable or even toxic at times. And when you add Diddy's well-documented into the mix, it's no wonder people started speculating about what really went on between them. This isn't to say their relationship was all bad, far from it. But the complexities of their time together created a perfect storm for people to read too much into things, especially in the wake of Diddy's arrest. Conspiracy theorists love to latch onto anything that looks like it might have been dysfunctional, and they've used that to fuel the rumors about Diddy's involvement in Kim's death. They point to the rocky nature of their relationship as proof that there was something darker going on, even though no actual evidence supports that idea. 
She wasn't just Diddy's ex-girlfriend or the mother of his children. Kim Porter had a career of her own as a model and actress, and she was a beloved figure in her own right. But more than anything, she was a devoted mother. You can see the impact she had on her children in the way they speak about her, even years after her death. They clearly adored her, and it's obvious that her death left a massive void in their lives. Kim's death was a huge loss, not just for her family, but for the wider community who admired her. When she passed away in 2018, the outpouring of love and grief was immediate. People who knew her described her as a beautiful soul, someone who was warm, loving, and always putting her kids first. And it's exactly that legacy that her children are fighting so hard to protect now. With all the conspiracy theories about her death swirling around, it's no wonder her kids feel the need to defend her memory so fiercely. Diddy's arrest has complicated things even further. It's not just about him anymore. It's about how his scandal is affecting the people around him, including Kim's legacy. Some people are now revisiting her death and trying to connect it to the charges against him, which only adds to the pain her children must be feeling. It's bad enough to lose your mom, but to have her death turned into part of a larger conspiracy because of your dad's actions? That's a burden no one should have to carry. In the years since Kim's passing, Diddy and his children have had to find a way to move forward without her. From what we've seen, they've managed to keep her memory alive in their own way. Diddy often posts tributes to Kim on social media, sharing old photos and talking about how much he misses her. And while it's clear that Diddy is dealing with his own grief, it's also clear that his kids are at the center of everything for him now. The memoir and the strange world of celebrity conspiracies. When I first heard about this 59-page book, I had to do a double take. A memoir supposedly written by Kim before she passed? Yeah. It sounds fishy already, and the more you dig into it, the weirder it gets. First off, the book is titled Kim's Lost Words, A Journey for Justice from the Other Side. And right off the bat, you can tell it's going to be a mess. The title alone feels like it's trying too hard to be dramatic and eerie, but it doesn't stop there. The book was self-published on Amazon in September 2023, and get this. The author's name is Jamal T. Millwood, which, according to conspiracy theorists, is supposedly an alias that Tupac used. Yeah, that Tupac. So now we've got a fake memoir and a Tupac connection all mixed into one. It feels like whoever wrote this was deliberately trying to stir up as much chaos as possible. The actual content of the memoir is, unsurprisingly, a joke. It's full of typos and grammatical errors, which makes you wonder how anyone could take it seriously. And yet, somehow, it became an Amazon bestseller. People really bought into this idea that Kim Porter, from beyond the grave, wrote down her final thoughts, revealing some kind of hidden truth. It's absurd, and yet, here we are. So, why are people buying into it? Honestly, it's not that hard to figure out. People love a good conspiracy, especially when it involves celebrities. And when a big name like Diddy is attached to a story, especially now that he's been arrested on such serious charges, people start to see connections where there might not be any. In their minds, it makes sense that there's a darker, hidden story behind Kim's death. And this memoir as poorly written as it is, feeds directly into that desire to believe that there's more going on than meets the eye. The thing with celebrity conspiracy theories is that they're like this endless rabbit hole. Once you start questioning one thing, it snowballs into questioning everything. For example, Diddy's arrest opens up a whole bunch of what-ifs in people's minds. And that's where this memoir comes in. It offers the answers that some people are hungry for even if those answers are completely made up. Then there's the power of social media, which plays a massive role in all of this. Platforms like Instagram, Twitter, or X, depending on what we're calling it now, and TikTok are perfect breeding grounds for rumors and conspiracy theories to thrive. Once one person posts something, it can go viral in minutes, and suddenly thousands of people are seeing it, sharing it, and talking about it. And let's be real, social media loves drama. 
especially when it involves big-name celebrities like Diddy. What's really interesting is how these platforms allow people to find confirmation for their suspicions, even when there's no actual evidence to back it up. If you're already skeptical of Diddy because of his arrest, then a book like this fake memoir will feel like proof that something more sinister is at play. It's like people want to believe these theories, so they take whatever evidence they can find, no matter how unreliable, and use it to confirm their worst fears. And this is exactly why Diddy's children are so frustrated. They've already been through the trauma of losing their mom, and now they have to deal with this ridiculous book that's making her death into some kind of spectacle. In their statement, they were very clear that this memoir is fake, saying, claims that our mom wrote a book are simply untrue. She did not. And anyone claiming to have a manuscript is misrepresenting themselves. You can feel their anger and exhaustion in those words. They're fed up with the lies and the rumors, and honestly, who can blame them? For the kids, this isn't just about shutting down a conspiracy theory. It's about protecting their mom's memory. Kim was their world, and they want people to remember her for who she really was, not for some bizarre story being sold on the internet. The fact that people are buying this book and feeding into these conspiracies only adds to their grief. It's hard enough to lose a parent, but when that loss is turned into a public sideshow, it takes everything to a whole new level. What this whole situation really highlights is the way the internet treats celebrity deaths. We've seen it time and time again. Whenever a famous person dies, especially under unexpected circumstances, people rush to create theories about what really happened. Whether it's Princess Diana, Michael Jackson, or now Kim Porter, the internet can't seem to accept that sometimes tragedy is just that, tragedy. Instead, it becomes something to dissect and speculate over, often at the expense of the family and loved ones left behind. For Diddy's children, this memoir represents the worst of what the internet can do. It's turning their mother's death into a circus filled with lies and conspiracies that have no basis in reality. And it's not just frustrating, it's hurtful. They've made it clear that they want to move forward to honor their mother's memory in a way that respects who she was as a person, not the character this fake memoir is trying to paint. Diddy's kid's silence on his arrest why they stayed quiet. One of the biggest things people have noticed about Diddy's kids speaking out is what they didn't say. While they were quick to address the conspiracy theories about their mom, Kim Porter, they've stayed completely silent on the subject of their father's arrest. I mean, we're talking about some pretty heavy charges here. Yet Diddy's children, Quincy, Christian, Jesse, and Delilah, haven't said a word about it. So, what's going on here? Why didn't they mention the elephant in the room? It's not like they aren't aware of what's happening. This scandal has been splashed across every news outlet and social media platform since Diddy's arrest. But the statement they put out focused entirely on their mom's legacy and the rumors about her death. It's almost like they're drawing a line in the sand. We're here to talk about our mother, but our dad? Not so much. One possible reason for this silence is loyalty. At the end of the day, Diddy is their father, and despite the charges he's facing, they might still feel the need to protect him, or at least not condemn him publicly. Let's be honest, it's incredibly complicated when a parent is accused of such serious crimes. Imagine being in their shoes. Do you cut ties with your dad the minute allegations come out, or do you stick by him until there's concrete proof? And given the magnitude of the accusations, they might be struggling with their own feelings about the situation. There's also the very real possibility that they're being advised by Diddy's legal team to stay quiet. When someone is facing legal trouble, especially of this magnitude, lawyers typically want to control the narrative as much as possible. Anything the kids say, even if it's meant to be supportive, could be used against Diddy in court. It's not hard to imagine that his attorneys are telling them to stay out of it and not comment on their dad's case for now. After all, anything said in public could have legal ramifications, but beyond legal advice, there's the emotional complexity of the situation. These kids are being forced to balance their love for their father with the reality that he's facing some serious charges. 
It's not like Diddy is being accused of something minor. These allegations are life-altering. They've likely grown up seeing their dad as a larger-than-life figure, a music mogul who's always been in control. Now, that image is being shattered, and they have to figure out how to process all of that. It's not easy, and their silence might be a reflection of the fact that they're still trying to make sense of it themselves. In situations like this, family ties often run deep. It's natural for Diddy's kids to want to stand by him, even if they're unsure of the facts or uncomfortable with the charges. Defending a parent who's facing such serious allegations isn't black and white. There's a lot of internal conflict involved. On one hand, they likely want to support their father, but on the other, they can't ignore the gravity of the accusations against him. For now, staying quiet might feel like the safest option, both emotionally and legally. The media, of course, has picked up on this silence, and fans have had plenty to say about it, too. Some people are criticizing the kids for not addressing their father's arrest head-on, suggesting that their refusal to comment is a form of avoidance. It's like they're choosing to focus on their mom's memory and not touch the mess surrounding their dad. And honestly, who can blame them? They're dealing with enough as it is. Protecting their mother's legacy is hard enough without having to weigh in on their father's scandal. Others, however, are more sympathetic. They see the kid's silence as a natural response to an incredibly difficult situation. It's possible they don't have all the facts yet, or maybe they're just trying to keep their personal lives private while the legal process plays out. After all, this is a massive case and things are still unfolding. Jumping to conclusions or making public statements about their dad's arrest could backfire later on, especially if new information comes to light. For now, it seems like Diddy's kids are choosing to focus on what they can control, their mom's legacy and memory. By speaking out against the conspiracy theories about Kim's death, they're trying to shut down the rumors and make sure people remember her for who she was, not for the drama surrounding their dad. It's clear they're very protective of their mom, and it makes sense that they'd prioritize that over addressing their dad's legal issues. After all, their mother's death is personal to them in a way that the public can't fully understand. The rumors about her death probably feel like an attack on their family's grief, and that's what they've chosen to speak up about. And let's face it, the media would love nothing more than for Diddy's kids to say something, anything, about his arrest. But by staying silent, they're taking control of the narrative in their own way. They're not letting the media dictate how they should feel or react to the situation. Instead, they've chosen to draw attention to the issues they care about, like clearing up the lies about their mom, while staying out of the messy legal drama involving their dad. It's a delicate balance, but for now, it seems like they've decided that silence is their best option when it comes to their father's arrest. In the end, we're all left wondering how Diddy's kids will handle things moving forward. Will they eventually speak out about their father's legal troubles, or will they continue to focus solely on protecting their mom's memory? It's hard to say, especially with so much uncertainty surrounding Diddy's case. But one thing is clear. They're navigating an incredibly difficult situation, and it's impossible to predict how things will unfold. For now, their silence speaks volumes. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.